Hi, I'm Kitri with Ways of Color, and today I'll be sharing with you how to complete your Make at Home Stained Glass Mosaic Planter Pot. To start, you'll want to set up your workspace. Covering a table with some newspaper is perfect. In your kit, you'll find your pot, your glass, your glue, which is simply a water-based glue, your grout, and a popsicle stick. A couple of other supplies that you may want to have on hand are some sort of a disposable container for when we get to the step of mixing the grout. It does not need to be this large. It can be one of the smaller yogurt containers or anything that you might have in the recycle bin. And I also like to have a couple of paper plates, but certainly not necessary. For the first part of your project, you can put the grout off to the side with that disposable container. And you'll need your bags of glass, your glue, your popsicle stick, your pot, and a couple of plates if you want them. What I like to do is set the two plates out. I like to dump out my glass onto the plates, creating a palette of colors and pieces for myself. I also like to take some of the glue and put it out right onto the other plate. We're going to start our mosaicing around this bottom part of the pot. So for now, I'll just encourage you to leave the rim blank. And as you are putting your glass pieces onto your pot, you want to think about working in this vertical space rather than horizontal space. This just allows gravity to help you and the glue to dry as you move your way around the pot. So when gluing the glass onto the pot, there are a couple different methods that you can use. This is all personal preference. You can choose the piece of glass with your popsicle stick, put a little bit of glue right on the back, and then glue that piece onto the pot in the location that you choose. The other method that also works just as well is to take some glue and Put the glue right onto the pot itself. With the space glued, you can then choose the pieces and place them right onto that glued surface. As you're placing the pieces on, you want to remember first off that mosaics is the art of imperfection. So just have fun with it. Know that the pieces aren't going to create a perfect puzzle, but they will create a beautiful design. The other thing that you want to be thinking about is placing the pieces on the pot, leaving a small amount of space in between each one for the grout. So if I put this a little closer, you'll notice there's about an eighth to a quarter of an inch of space in between each piece. Again, this is personal artist preference. There is no right or wrong. You can have the pieces spaced much further apart or closer together. It's up to you and whatever you like, but do be sure to leave at least a small space for the grout to have some room.
Once you've completed gluing your glass onto the bottom part of your planter pot, now's your chance to decide what you'd like to do with the rim. There are three great options for the rim of your pot. The first is to simply leave it as is. This is a beautiful choice. The second option is once your pot has been fully completed, once the grouting process is done and it's had a chance to dry, then you can paint the rim of the pot with a solid color or a pattern. Sharpies also work really well on the rims of these pots to create a design. The third option is to use the remainder of the glass you have left to continue your mosaic along the rim. If you choose to do that, it might look something like this, which is a third and great option. Whatever you decide, you're going to want to, after you're completely finished mosaicing and gluing, you want to let your pot sit for at least an hour to let the glue dry. This provides an opportunity for the glue to set up, the pieces to be stable before we start our grouting process. Now that you've given plenty of time for the glue to dry, the second step is to grow. So you'll want to prepare your area for grouting, collecting all of the materials you'll need. And for grouting, you're gonna want your mosaic pot, your bag of grout, your disposable container for mixing the grout. You will want some paper towels. And if you have them available, a couple Q-tips might be helpful for cleaning the glass pieces as well. You'll also want access to a sink or some water available. So to start mixing up the grout, the first thing you want to do is definitely take off any sort of jewelry that you might have on either of your hands. You are going to get a little messy in this process. The next thing, this is a pro tip, is um, do not mix all of your grout. So um, I would suggest dumping about three quarters of what you have into your container and then do keep yourself at least a small amount of dry. Um, oftentimes you'll mix it up a little bit too wet and you're going to want some dry to add to it. So dumping the dry grout into your disposable container. You can then just start to add water and mix it up until it becomes the consistency of um, like a loose peanut butter is a good way to think about it. As you're mixing, you want to make sure you are getting out any lumps, just creating a nice smooth texture. So you can see here the consistency is a little bit like a loose peanut butter. And then you'll begin to apply this grout to your mosaic pot. Don't worry about getting little bits on the bottom or on the rim if you've left the rim blank. Um, we'll clean that off after, but just smear the grout in so you are getting it into all of the spaces between each piece of glass. Once you've covered your entire pot with the grout, the next thing you're gonna do is just start to wipe off what's on top. So you're just wiping off the big blobs as you move around the pot, making sure that all of the spaces in between the glass is filled in. Just beginning the phase of cleaning off each piece of glass. Once you have cleaned off the excess grout from the top of the glass, you can just set the pot down and this is a great time to go clean your hands. As you go clean your hands, you'll notice that a white film will start to develop on top of each piece of glass. That's telling you that the grout is drying and that's exactly what you want to see. So um, another pro tip here, before washing your hands in your sink, try to get as much of the excess grout as you can off of your hands and then go ahead and wash them. 
Now that your hands are clean, you can start the process of cleaning each piece of glass. Your best tool for that is going to be a dry paper towel. So with that paper towel, you're just gonna start to clean off all of the glass. And this is gonna take some time, so you're gonna wanna be a little bit patient while also working quickly enough to not allow the grout to dry too quickly. This is where the Q-tips come in handy as well. So taking a Q-tip to really individually clean each piece can be a nice final step. In order to get that nice clean edge around the top and bottom of your pot, that's where a damp paper towel can be used to right at the very end of your cleaning process, go around and create that nice finished edge. Once you've completed cleaning off each of your pieces of glass, your pot can be left to dry probably overnight to let the grout really set up and then you can go ahead and start planting in it. Here is an example of the clean edge. Here's another example with the entire pot mosaic. And again, you do also have the option to paint the rim or decorate it with Sharpies. Allow yourself to get creative with it. We hope you enjoyed your stained glass mosaic planter pot experience. Again, we are Ways of Color, and we hope to work with you again soon. Thanks so much.